I ruined an account that means a great deal to me, and in hindsight, I care about all of my accounts. Most of them I spent a good amount of cheddar on. Gemma Ray's fault for that. But this one hits just a tiny bit harder, if you ask me. Now, before we get straight away into anything, I want to make sure we're kind of on the same page. This video is going to be a little bit more talking than usual. But there most definitely will be a satisfying moment that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. The auto collection that ravaged this account that I care about. So, I'm sure you all know a few things about your boy Ray here, one of which is I'm awful at charging my devices. Yet again, your boy Ray never learns. However, another thing is I'm a big, big fan of Cursed Accounts. It has always been somewhat of a mainstay here on my channel. Ever since that Brawl Pass season way back in the day where Bellhop Mike was offered as the Tier 1 skin, realizing that we could unlock a Trophy Row Brawler before the trophy requirement, things just kind of fell into place, baby. It was a really fun discovery where I found there was a lot of opportunity to experiment to make fun things in the game that weren't possible beforehand. So of course we ran with that, making dozens and dozens of cursed accounts, some of which were just trophies, right? Like my legendary Ray account where we just unlocked all the legendary brawlers, didn't really push them. But other ones where we poured blood, sweat, and tears over, achieving rank 35 on three different cursed accounts for my three favorite brawlers, Dynamite, Colt, and Mortis. Now recently, there hasn't been a whole lot of cursed account pushing content nor cursed account creation content. I think some of the blame lies in the fact that it's a little bit more difficult to push a cursed account in the current landscape of Brawl Stars. We made a video highlighting all the different progressively difficult steps that Brawl Stars has made for cursed accounts throughout the updates. As well as I think there's also a little blame in the fact that I've had a tiny bit of a lapse in motivation when it comes to achieving crazy milestones that takes a ton of hours and effort and coordination with others in order to achieve these crazy things. Taking a look back at one of the most recent cursed account creations that we've made here on the channel, and that was my cursed Edgar account, Orochi Edgar. We made this account over six months ago, which is the account in question that was eventually ruined. If you guys have been following cursed account creation or pushes, you'll know that you can't have a cursed account for more than six months without being affected by the auto collection system that we have in Brawl Stars nowadays, and I will share with you guys the insanely satisfying Brawl Pass auto collection towards the later half of this video. It's a funny little duality of I hate the auto collection because it has ravaged a ton of my cursed accounts, some of which have costed well over $200, but it's also satisfying, so I kind of like it. <laughs> but you may be wondering, Ray, why are you so disappointed with this account being destroyed? Because several of my other cursed accounts that I've made in the past have been destroyed. Why is this one hitting just a little bit harder. And the answer to that is I had made these publicly grandiose goals that I wanted to achieve another rank 35 cursed account and stash it away into my trophy room club much like I did for the Dynamite Colt and Mortis cursed accounts way back in the day. I think any astute viewer who watches my channel quite regularly can come to realize that when it comes to my content that I upload it mirrors my interests in Brawl Stars. You can find your boy Ray going on a two week bender or a stretch just going ham on Star park or speculative things when it comes to updates. And there's other times where we're pushing a crap ton, achieving these fun milestones in Brawl Stars because my interests reflect that I enjoyed pushing at the time. So I think it's pretty dang easy to tell that seeing we haven't had that much crazy hard pushing content here on the channel, achieving milestones in Brawl Stars, that that's not really where my interests are right now. One thing I've come to realize about myself covering Brawl Stars for more than five years is I have these waves of inspiration in different things, much like I stated before, but I feel like they come in intervals, where I'll be interested in lore and I dive into that, giving all of my effort into that, and then maybe a couple weeks later I'll be more interested in pushing, I dive into that. But what I've come to realize is these waves in interests in different things have kind of stretched in duration to a certain degree. As you guys can tell, we failed the Orochi Ray account because I didn't have any interest in pushing or motivation to push another rank 35, and that was six months ago. I think I realized at the time when I made that cursed Edgar account that I didn't necessarily have a whole lot of motivation or the drive to push another rank 35, coordinating different teammates to push every single day for hours for weeks at a time in order to make one video. However, I posted that video hoping that seeing that I said it publicly that I wanted to achieve another rank 35, that I would have to do it. I deadlocked myself into this milestone, this goal 
goal because I made a video stating that I would. Which, I've come to realize I do this quite a lot when it comes to these significant milestones that requires quite a bit of effort in order to obtain. I set this goal in the ground publicly so that it is another stressor in the back of my mind that is pushing me that much more in order to obtain it. You can see it with things such as my 40,000 trophy push, literally the end thing that was motivating me to push a crap ton was I literally was going to delete my YouTube channel if I wasn't going to get 40,000 trophies, and I mean that. So of course I'm not going to delete my YouTube channel, so of course I got to get the 40,000 trophies. <laughs> Same can be seen in other things such as the Road to Blue, Purple, and Green Iron Man Challenge. It was a weekly series, and the motivating factor was I had to hit the deadline to get the video out in order to push these milestones every single week. So it wasn't necessarily my motivation itself, it was an outward motivation. Now I'm saying all of this because it boils down to one specific thing and the reason I wanted to make this video today. I like to be transparent with you guys because I care about my YouTube audience quite a lot. And that is that wave of interest, once again, increasing in duration. One of the interests that I have with pushing is most definitely taking a while to come back is what I'm trying to say. It's been a very long time since I've been motivated to push for another crazy milestone here in Brawl Stars. And I think it's for a few different reasons here. Of course, I still love Brawl Stars. My interest waves is currently on just keeping up with the update stuff, making sure you guys are all in the loop, but not pushing even to the point where practices that I've done in the past were stating a milestone that I would achieve publicly, much like this rank 35 Edgar, wasn't enough to keep me motivated to push for it. Like I said before, I adore Brawl Stars. I love it so dang much. More than just a game, I love the community itself. And I can really only say that for a few different games out there. I'm not a crazy gamer outside of YouTube or anything like that. I do play a fair share of a few different games that I come back to, but there's really only been a handful of games that I've been this involved in, much like Super Smash Bros. I've been playing for most of my life, Brawl Stars, and I would even put Clash of Clans up there playing that game for such a long time way back in the day. For most video games I really, really enjoy, I play it really hard for a couple years and my interest slowly trickles off and then I tend to just forget about it and move on. But Brawl Stars has always kept my interest and I think the reason I don't have a lot of interest in pushing right now is the fact that when it comes to motivating yourself in order to achieve a milestone, it's all self-centered. The milestones that you want to obtain on your account specifically, say it's a rank 25 or maybe like 30,000 trophies, 20,000 trophies are all set by yourself. They're things that you particularly want to obtain. And thankfully, I'm a content creator and I can set these outward goals or these outward parameters that kind of force me to get there where I'm not going to lie, if I wasn't a YouTuber, a lot of the milestones that I've gotten in Brawl Stars, whether it's the Iron Man accounts pushing power level ones to 500, 750 trophies on a weekly basis, or even the cursed account pushes, I highly doubt I would have been able to do all those or have gotten as many of those if it wasn't for YouTube and me setting these goals publicly. However, I think there's a huge silver lining to all of this, and that is I think I'm finally getting to the point where that wave of inspiration is taking me to pushing, and I think a lot of it has to do with the stuff that I'm seeing from people who I admire a lot inside the community, much like Physic. This dude just grinding out world records on my favorite brawler in this game, achieving 2,370 trophies, and then the next trophy pushing season, another 2,000 on Mortis. It's like, what is motivating you? Seeing that drive in people like this just recently, and even me stating this in recent episodes on the channel, I am getting freaking motivated as heck to push again. And to be honest with you all, I don't think this motivation coming back just slightly could have come at a better time, seeing that we are kind of at this crossroads here. Of course, Orochi Rei has been ruined, but we just recently made three other cursed accounts that I would like to push. I don't want the same thing to happen to these three accounts that happened to the cursed Edgar account, not by the sole fact that the account is ruined, but it's literally the principle. I don't like saying I'm going to do something and I don't follow through with it. I don't do it very often on my channel, but when it happens, it hits hard. And it hurts. I don't like it. So I really want to do at least something with these accounts, given the insane time parameters that we have right now, pushing these off for as long as I've had up until this point already. And another thing that I'm hoping I find enough motivation to do here very, very soon, or maybe I'll just put my YouTube channel on the line here again, is achieving 50,000 trophies, which doesn't seem like a whole lot to a lot of you guys out there. Seeing that people nowadays are pushing to freaking 70,000 trophies, my goodness, the app 
absolute mad lads out there, but I think it would be really significant and a cool thing to obtain, making sure to finish the trophy road. Seeing that I've been playing this game for more than five years, I think it'd be cool to finally get to this point. But yeah, there you have it, everyone. The reason why one of my accounts is completely ruined right now and why it's such a big deal to your boy Ray. Of course, this was most definitely more of a check-in video, more of a talking video. But I like to be transparent with you guys, people who watch my videos every single day and are looking forward to certain types of content, right? And I'm not gonna lie, I see comments every now and again talking about those cursed account pushes and every single time I feel like I offer an explanation, that's for dang sure. But with all of that being said, I want to end this on a satisfying note. Of course, the cursed Edgar account is ruined right now, but I guess with it being ruined, there came some satisfaction and that is the Brawl Pass auto collection. So I think we'll send off this video with that note. Thank you.